Hello traders, welcome back to the channel. This is Vishal and you're watching Nifty and Bank Nifty short term view. In this particular week, I have not been able to share a lot of information through my education videos. My previous video was probably on last Sunday. And after that, it was a festival season. So that is the reason, that is the main reason why I could not share any of the videos. But if you remember in my last video, I clearly shared that in Nifty, we are trading around a resistance band and that particular resistance was in the weekly chart, in the daily chart and even in the hourly chart. In case if you are new to this channel, you can go to my previous video, which was the weekly sectoral analysis and the title of the video was that market needs consolidation and consolidation means probably going sideways or a little bit even down. But uh, the pace with which Nifty has corrected, the pace with which entire market has corrected, that is a little bit worrisome. Yes, market did obey and respected the view. But the thing is that in a bull run, in a good rally, which is going up pretty nicely with low volatility, generally the correction is very, very slow and steady. Okay, generally it is very slow. Even if it is fast, then it could be in a different degree. But this one is literally vertical. Okay. Now the thing is, this is a simple understanding point that not just the correction which has happened in last three days, that is the worrisome, but the pace at which market has fallen. Now, apart from that, if you check the hourly time frame charts and the daily time frame charts, fortunately we are trading again near a support band and the support band in Nifty Spot is 19,721 to 19,601 or 600, okay, in round figure. So this 120 points band is a pretty decent support for the nifty spot. Now in the hourly time frame chart, you can clearly see that the trend is down and in the daily time frame chart, now what we can see is that the trend is flat. And one more negative thing which I can see, while the market was correcting, there have been two different gaps, okay. So this is clearly showing that there is some sort of haste, hurry, that everyone wants to just sell off everything and get out of the market. Now, generally in this sort of selling, two things can happen. Either it can aggravate or it can create a climax, a selling climax. Whether that will happen or not, we really don't know. Probably we will take few days to understand this or else if any important level is broken on the downside, then probably we'll start understanding that this is not just a pullback or something. This is something more than that. On the other side, in the daily time frame, in the early time frame chart, sorry, if I convert this candlestick chart into a line chart, we can clearly see a, a pretty decent, not very strong, but pretty decent positive divergence. Now, if this divergence works out, then there is a decent possibility we could pull back and markets may, I'm using the word may, not will, it may try to fill this gap with a small pullback. This is the utmost necessary thing to happen in extreme short term, probably in next few days. If this level is broken, 19,600, maybe tomorrow, because the pace with which markets are falling, it's very easy to assume that with this pace, maybe even tomorrow we can fall by 150 points, right? So let's hope that this particular zone, this particular level is not breached on closing basis. Till that time, hope is there. And uh, in Bank Nifty, the volatility is even further back. You can see this candle. This candle is really big red candle. And this candle would have surely increased a lot of, lot of volatility. And the candle before that is again a shooting star. The candle before that is again a shooting star. So three consecutive candles which are clearly saying that there is a lot of selling pressure visible in the banking pack. Now the main feature of this correction is that this is vertical. Is there any positive divergence in RSI? No. Is it extremely oversold? The answer is yes. It is much below 30. Now this is the zone where we have decent support band in Bank Nifty. I would be happier that if Bank Nifty would have stopped at 45,000, but you understand that market has its own mind. But this entire band from 44,650 to 
to 44,200. This entire band is a decent support band for Bank Nifty. And we can also see that the Bank Nifty is overstretched on the downside. It's difficult to say whether we will see a immediate pullback or not. But I believe one thing that uh, if Bank Nifty wants to remain afloat, it wants to stop, stop selling, then immediately it should probably start rallying higher, maybe even a little bit and maybe stay at a higher level and not breach this particular level of 44,600. Just stay there, let the volatility cool off and then slowly and steadily prices start rallying. But will that happen or not? That is a big question. Only time will tell. So as a positional trader, first you need to quickly understand this, that you need to trail your stop losses. As a swing trader, I'm pretty sure you would have adhered your stop losses in uh, last two days. And apart from that, there are a few sectors which I can see right now, which can help the Nifty to stay higher, maybe even go higher. But for that, I'll be sharing in my next video, which will be the weekly sectoral analysis, which I'll share with all of you probably on Sunday. But as of now, we can clearly see that the volatility is slightly higher. Uh, refrain from initiating too many trading positions in the market. Try to manage risk in your open positions. And uh, I would also suggest that I al always say that just uh, support and resistance is not everything in the market. The entire state of trend is very, very important. I understand. I agree that Nifty and Bank Nifty both currently are at uh, support, but what price action happens from there, what other tools, indicators, they start showing us on the charts, that is very, very important. So I believe patience will be rewarded highly in the next few trading sessions, maybe even in the next week. All right. I'll keep all of you updated in, with my educational videos. Stay focused, trade less and stay safe.